Hello and welcome to a Plan for the video blog series Plan for the with experts. My name is Bernd Gerstenberger. I am knowledge domain expert for AutoCAD and specialized toolset and escalation lead for AutoCAD Plan for D. Today's topic are the new features for AutoCAD Plan for D 2025. We have several new features to present. The new features will be presented in separate videos. In this video, I want to present several PIN.D enhancements. We have two topics here, the enhanced PIN.D modeler and the PIN.D ISA symbology updates. Starting with the enhanced PIN.D modeler, you see here how it looks like. So we are talking about plant pit line list. So you at the right side, you see how it looks like in 2025. It is redesigned. It's now looking uh, similar to a Revit PIN.D modeler. Compared to the old plant pit line list dialog, uh, you still see uh, all line segments and all inline components listed here. But uh, additionally, you see and this is new nozzles, start and equipment, branches and off page connectors as well. So how it is sorted? First of all, in the selection list here above, if this is as it was before, you're selecting the specific PIN.D drawing, and below it is grouped by the pipeline group numbers. Uh, when you expand the pipeline group numbers, then it is subsorted by the placement order. Um, and this is new. For the nozzles, uh, depending if a nozzle already exists or not, or uh, depending also which kind of nozzle you want to add, you will get the edit nozzle or add nozzle dialog pops up. There is a new system variable called plant auto map pipeline. If it's turned on, it is off by default. Custom properties from pinned ID objects, uh, let's say for example, pipeline segments class will be inherited over to the plant 3D objects, to those plant 3D objects which are automatically placed. For example, if you root pipeline with some elbows, in PIN.D you don't have elbows. But the elbow will be automatically added uh, during pipe routing. Also, if you uh, root a branch, depending on your size and, and spec, branch a table, etc. you will get, for example, a T or a do so as a component uh, automatically added here. And uh, the custom properties will be uh, copied over from a pinned ID pipeline segment to those automatic placed objects. If you are trying to place an unmapped uh, item, which is not uh, mapped here, if it's an equipment, Equipment you cannot map, of course, but in this case, the create equipment dialog will pop up. If it's something else, for example, a control valve, which is also not mapped, then the um, custom parts dialog pops up. Now, some more details. You see here the preview. Um, you can zoom and move inside of a preview, and then you can also change the background color between white and black and some more details, how it looks like for equipment, nozzle and branches. So you see here, uh, first is starting with a roof tank and then a nozzle, then a short piece of pipeline. Here you will see a branch, which is shows an arrow, which I can expand at the moment it is closed uh, to see the branch pipes. But continuing on the main pipe, you see another branch is uh, pipeline segment is added, when a gate valve was added, yes, also added, etc. And now we want to see that this in action. Here, uh, this plan pit line list was open. I'm switching between different PID drawings, and you see that I can move and zoom in the preview, and I also can switch back and forth between white and black background. Below it is grouped by the pipeline group numbers. It is also zooming to a specific um, number. And then you see the um, subsorting by the placing order. Here you see, uh, for example, um, it starts with a uh, tank. When I place that, a vertical tank is already selected in the create equipment dialog. And I'm just 
click rate and that's it. Now I'm placing a nozzle. So it's done. I'm placing it here. And now a short piece of pipe. So it's a very good way to rebuild the pinned ID drawing in 3D much better as you could, could do before because you'd have now the placing order. Now I'm placing a reducer. Now there's a control offs. You can see at the bottom here, right, this pinned ID object can't, isn't mapped to a 3D object. Placement will launch the custom parts dialog. Um, so in this case, the plant custom parts dialog pops up. Now we are looking for the branch. We want to add this branch, so it's going up and adding, placing the branch here. And you see how it looks like in the preview. So I just rebuilt the branch here in the model itself, and it's very easy doing. And in the middle, I'm just placing the gate valve again, and then it's done. We are moving on to the next topic, PIN.ISA symbology updates. All the symbols are updated to the latest ISA standard. So we are talking about the images of existing symbols in a tool palette, but also from a substitution palette. And just think about all the blocks in the symbol settings in project setup for the existing symbols. So we are talking about the ISA instrumentation. Uh, we have, it's now aligned with a standard for 2022. Uh, much newer, so this is the latest standard here. And if, if you go open the edit block definition in Boy Symbol Styles DWG file, every block um, which has a prefix ISA is updated. Beside of one exception, and these exceptions are the equipments, um, we are still using the standard 1985, much older than all other standards but it's still the latest standard, so we are up to date here. No changes for equipment. But our ISA lines, we are also updated, and here we had also to update the LIN file and the corresponding SHX file with some new and updated line types. Um, if it's really needed sometimes, then if we just run line type to load the updated line types from there. And migration, what happens if you are opening an old ISA legacy project in 2025. First of all, nothing appears and nothing changes. But when you're opening project setup here and switch to pinned ID class definition node or some of its sub nodes, then you will see this red marked blue link, ISA update available. If you click that, you will get this dialog and you have to have a choice between two options. First one is to migrate my current projects to use the latest ISA symbols. Let's say existing driving will not be updated. They will be updated if they are currently open. When you're closing them, it, they will be updated. And the um, second option is just to don't change my current project. Note that in this case, you have to use the pinned ID ISA legacy tool palette. Using that tool palette, you will get the old um, symbols, you, so you can still enter the old ISA symbols into your drawings. If you are copying an old legacy drawing, ISA drawing, into your new 2025 project, then you have just to run sync styles command to update all symbols here. And also, if I have done the migration, this blue, this blue link will immediately remove afterwards. Uh, so we are talking about those, all those symbols here. For us, we skipped equipment, but the rest of the two palettes is all updated here.
but uh, note that we are now in the pro assembled styles dwg file when i'm looking for the block definition starting with isa you will see all the updated blocks here all up blocks are updated beside of those less equipment blocks and this is a really a mess um, you can see we're still not at the end we are just about the middle of the updated blocks so a huge shout out to the product team who has done this task okay that's it and now we are opening an old isa legacy project which was created in 2024 so first of all it looks like normal nothing happens you see you still see the old um symbols now opening project setup switching to a p and id class definitions node and here you see the blue link not only here you will find the same link uh, in every subnode of it it doesn't matter in which subnode you are clicking this link when you have get these two options this time i say i don't want to update my iso symbols um, then i have to switch in the tool palettes to p and id isa legacy and from here i will insert one inline instrument and a butterfly valve especially the butterfly valve you will see the changes very immediately the yellow one if you look forward it will be narrowed a little bit so now i'm clicking again with blue link and this time i'm updating my isa symbols that's it the blue link is removed it's not available anymore in project setup and you see the changes immediately, especially for the butterfly valve, very visible, and all symbols are updated now. And um, now I can switch to the normal P and ID, ISA tool palette, and I see the updated symbols from here. And I can use them. So this was about the improvement for P&IDs in 2025. I hope it is useful for you. And this is what I want to present in this part of the series about new features of AutoCAD Plan 3D 2025 today. I'm looking for your comments to this video. Thank you for your time and goodbye.